everybody, Suzy Q here and welcome to Q Aquatics. Today I want to take a look at my angelfish fry. They were, I don't think they're fry anymore, they're juveniles. Subadults? I'm not sure what they're called, but I have three different batches of my angelfish, plus I sold a whole lot. So let's go take a look. So I'm going to go over my angelfish and how I'm breeding my angelfish. And to tell the truth, I'm not breeding my angelfish. My angelfish are breeding. There's a difference. I was absolutely thrilled because I had no confidence in breeding. So with my first spawn, they ate all the, they weren't even free swimmers yet. They, all the eggs, I don't know if they were fertilized or not, but all the eggs that were on the slate, they just ate them. And I struggled. I made a video about it because every time I went to try to clean some of the tank, they ate their eggs and that kept happening. So then I stopped cleaning their tank after they spawned and that seemed to work. They had a batch, it's a litter, a batch. They had a batch of fry, lots of them, and many of them survived. I let the parents be parents and they brought them up when they got to about the size of a nickel, maybe a quarter. I brought maybe a dozen or so into my local fish store and then I brought six into my local fish club. Bucks County Aquarium Society. So, and then I still have some. These are two of them. I have about six or eight of them. Most of them, I think if not all of them are in this uh, rainbow tank. This is my 120 gallon. That koi angel I bought at my local fish club. So I went out and I bought six at my local fish club thinking if they're gonna start spawning, I don't want them to just keep inbreeding. And so far, I have not paired up. Any other fish have not paired up, except for my original pair. Looks like in my rainbow tank, two were starting to pair up. Two were protecting the same territory, which kind of looked like spawning behavior or at least pairing up behavior. But they have not been successful. And it could be because there's clown loaches in there. There's rainbow fish in there. They've had, I don't know if they actually spawned and I missed it, or they just aren't paired up. Then the next batch that they had, they ate all their eggs, and then I moved them to another tank because spawning all the time and not being able to clean the tank, plus using like egg yolk and different kinds of fry food that I was using made the tank very mommy. Is that the word, mommy? Made it very fuzzy. The fry loved it, but it looked unsightly. So I figured in between spawns, I cleaned it out. While I was cleaning it out, and did a full water change. They loved it. They started spawning again and they had another batch. So from that, I have two survivors. Here they are. I might have put a couple in the big tank and I just can't identify them. If they were larger than the rest, I put them in the bigger tank. These two might be their um, the runts. <laughs> oh my God, I can't tell a story for the life of me. The very last spawning hundreds and hundreds of eggs and free swimming amazing fry absolutely beautiful and i went to work and my daughter said to me should we take the parents out or should we take the babies out i said well they've been great parents up to now let's talk about it when i get home from work well when i came home from work they looked like they had ate all their babies I waited too long. Then I looked a little closer. There were like six little tiny ones. So instead of trying to net them out because they were so tiny, I met up the parents and put them in a new tank. So let me show you the parents' tank. That's the dad. Oh, that's why there's no coin. There's no coin in them. Where is the mom? She must be behind that slate. So the parents here are in a 29. Hopefully they will spawn again and have some more babies. I really like the size of this 29 gallon. It's like a really good size tank for lots of different projects. I know, you don't like your picture taken, do you, buddy?
of the prayer papa. Across the way, here's the babies that they just had. Let's see if we can count them. One, two, three, four, five, six. They're in this 29 gallon. Pocostamin, Java fern. Looks like a sword. Could be wrong. I don't know this. And there's the Trident Java. Anubis. Uh oh, Anubis got buried. Should not be. Agrifolia. Right now, I'd say their body is about the size of a nickel. I actually just moved them over because the parents look like they're spawning again. So, thanks for coming along with me while we check out my angel update. See you next time.